Alrighty folks, welcome back to another episode of Bulloy Kaplan here. Today I'm here at home at the office and uh, we're going to do something special. So I've been actually planning to do this in a while now, but I didn't uh, get any chance to do this. Recently I had some <laughs> really active stuff going on. I tried to mention to you guys in previous videos that we made, but um, unfortunately I couldn't make too, ma too much videos ever since whatever happened to me so whatever happened is um we had to move from boxton that's where i used to live uh probably you guys know that um boxton hatteras and we had to move from there and um we had to find a house it's a long process housing is kind of like a really big deal down here in uh on cape hatteras like on, on the island right now there's a big time housing problem but anyways so um we eventually found a house here in Manio, which is like an hour and 10, 20 minutes away from Boxton. And uh, I kind of can't say that honestly, we got lucky because the way I said, like, you can't find any housing whatsoever. But anyways, yeah, we got lucky. We found a house here in Manio and it was a long process. You guys, you already probably know, you know, um, moving and, you know, all that stuff can take some time. And yeah, you know, painting the house, you know, getting a house ready, getting it cleaned and I'll power wash the entire house and stuff. Yeah. But anyways, guys, yeah, I'll move to Mania. That's where I'm being, uh, I'm going to be living now on. I think this is the first video that I'm revealing you guys this news. And uh, for that reason, I couldn't make any videos for the last two months, two months and a half, maybe three months, because it's on, almost going to be three months since we moved into this new apartment, new house. And, um, but yeah. So sorry for that guys, sorry if I couldn't keep up with videos and stuff, sorry, sorry that if I couldn't make enough content for you guys, but now when we got everything settled up and uh, it's only spring coming, you know, up in ahead of us and we're going to be fishing even harder than ever, hopefully I got my fingers crossed and um, yeah, but anyways guys, thank you so much for tuning in, thank you so much for watching and uh, if this is your first time here on this channel, my name is Abdullah Kaplan and this is my channel Born to Fish Outer Banks. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. And if you already subscribed, be sure that you hit that like button. And if you have any questions, just comment below, please. I'll be definitely happy to help you guys. And, uh, you know, if you have any questions, I'll be willing to definitely, um, I'll be happy to answer that questions for you and help you catch more fish. <laughs> All right. That was the whole reason, honestly, me opening up this, um, youtube channel anyways that's how i started and um but yeah guys go ahead and do that please if you didn't subscribe yet hit that subscribe button if you're already subscribed hit the like button and uh share please that's gonna help me a lot but anyways so today's video is guys we're going to make a compilation of the best catches of 2023 but there is one thing that i wanted to add one fish that i caught on 2022 man that was a really good fish a giant speckled trout that was the biggest speckled trout that i ever caught on 2022 and before 2022 so i'm going to give a um you know special place to that video as well and um i want you guys to see it yeah that was my first ever biggest trout I ever caught and um, it was awesome so we're gonna start with the video first guys and um i'm gonna watch at the same time with you guys and uh, yeah let's start our first video then we'll move there accordingly and um let's see what was the date on here <laughs> that was on may 26 2022 that video guys that i shared with you guys may 26 2022 yeah <laughs> good memory guys let's take a look at it all together come on come on come on take it there you go there you go is it on got him guys we got him we got him He's on. He's on. He's on. I have to bring him in. Quick. Hope he's not a stingray though. That acted like a drum. That definitely acted like a drum. A bunch of grass on the line. A lot of grass. A ton of grass. Come on. Come here, boy. 
Come here. Two. We're well, just on top of water. Get a second go. Come here. Come here. How big is it? Is it a drum? Is that a stingray? Oh, that's a drum, guys. That's a beautiful drum. Nice drum. Nice drum. Come here, dude. That is a trout, guys. That is a freaking trout. I. That is a freaking trout. No way! Like, no way! Are you kidding me right now? And he swallowed it. I don't know if I can recover him. He's got hooked. Look at size of the trout, guys. Look at size of that trout. Holy cow. Oh man, he's got hooked. You guys, you can see he's got, oh man. I'm sorry, boy. Wow, I don't think that he's going to be make, able to make it. That's a beautiful trout though. Let me see how big it is. Let me measure him very quick. Yeah, he's like a uh, 28, I think, 28 inch trout. Look at the size of that trout, guys. Yeah, I wish I could let him go, but he was gut hooked. You guys can see his gut right there dangling by the mouth. Oh man, I'm so sorry, baby boy. Yeah, it was hooked really bad. The fact that I have circle hook. I cannot believe that just happened. I would love to. I caught a 25 inch like a couple days ago. I let it go. But there is nothing to do for this guy. Oh man. Just gonna try to let him go still. Like, I don't know. No, he's already lifeless, guys. Oh man, I guess we're going to have to keep it. Yeah, but this is the biggest trout I ever caught so far. I caught a 25 inch one a couple days ago. I mean, it's, the video is on the way, it's coming today or tomorrow. That's, I believe, the second biggest, I mean, the first biggest one, that's even bigger, way bigger than the last one. That's at least like um, 28, 30 inch trout, yeah guys. And a really heavy one too. That's like almost six pounder. He's not going to be able to make it. Oh man, oh man. All right. Man, good memories, good memories. Yeah, that was a really good fish. All right, so let's move on to the next video. Our next video is gonna be Red Drum that was fishing at the uh, point, you know. And um, the funny thing is that there was a storm before this uh, video and, you know, for a month and it was, you know, February anyways and February a month of February generally it's really windy and it's really cold here on Outer Banks and that was March 18 2023 I do remember I went to the um, lighthouse area to jetties and I spent there for probably an hour hour and a half and I didn't catch anything whatsoever then I decided to make a change um, I went to ramp 43 and um i didn't bring any video any gopro equipments and stuff i mean you know any camera because i didn't know if i'm going to catch any fish or not then um i did uh probably like four or five casts yeah and eventually i hooked up on a really nice red and i thought it was a lock honestly you know then i did make another cast and i got another one and after that i decided to go and get my um get my rod and everything 
and um, I set up the camera and we caught um, a really nice red drum that was a big one over slot definitely and one black drum I saw two black drums yeah they were really good size as well so that video is up next hope you guys like it let's watch it all together let's go ahead and cast us out there awesome that's right where i wanted to be at and Okay. Time to set the big rod. Big boy. The big boy. Oh, 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 oh. Is that a fish? Is that it? We got a fish, guys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's him, that's him, <laughs> that's him guys, that's him, <laughs> oh wow, fighting, fighting, <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> turn the GoPro on, that's him guys, that's, that's him, him. <laughs> that is him, oh wow, no, 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 got to come here dude, that's him, that's a big fish guys, holy cow, Come on! No! Come back! That's him! That is him, guys! <laughs> that is him! No! Come here! Oh wow! Small rod, guys! Small, small rod! <laughs> oh no! Oh wow! No! Come here! 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 <laughs> hope you guys can see me holy cow like i just casted it out there literally i just casted it out there i have to give him some line because i don't want to lose him let me just come back towards the camera that's him guys that's him all right there goes the camera <laughs> that's him guys that is him <laughs> that's a massive one though that's really big come here dude that is him. I just casted it out there. Oh man. Hoo wee. Dude, that is a massive fish, guys. That is a massive drum. <laughs> what is going on today? No way. This is the biggest drum I ever caught today. I mean, ever, actually. <laughs> Come here. No way. No way. Oh my pompano rake, guys. Oh my own made pompano rakes. Come here, dude. No, 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 no. Yeah, you got to come here. You got to come here. That's the most dangerous spot right there. <laughs> no way! No way! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Check this monster out. <laughs> I just tested it out there, guys. Oh my. All mate. Pompano rig. <laughs> no way! Am I gonna need my pliers for that? No. That was right on the edge. <laughs> Check that fish out, guys. That's another easy, it's skinny, but it's a massive drum, guys. Check this out. Yee! I was so sad that I didn't catch any uh, on the camera because I had two today earlier and I got a black drum too. But only that black drum was on the camera. Let me see if I'm recording. Oh yeah, <laughs> awesome guys. The second I made that location change, here it is guys, beautiful drum. <laughs> we're gonna let him go. I'm not gonna measure him guys, he's definitely over slot. Okay, we're gonna let him go head first. Thanks boy. <laughs> there he goes. All right, let's move to the next video guys. The next fish, that was a really good shark and we took that video on April 6, 2023 and um i didn't catch too much stuff honestly but sharks i do remember that on that day i was um i caught some sea mullet on the fish bite and shrimp combination and i caught that sea mullet and um put it on the hook and we cast it out there 
um, and um, first one actually I was figuring out first one I was using 50 60 80 pound monofilament line as a leader and as line I was making my rigs with but every single time that fish they were somehow cutting me off and eventually there were a couple guys there they gave me a uh, um, rig that is that was made with like um, black steel basically and uh, then with the second I attached that rig on there we caught that really big shark and um, I'm gonna share it guy with you guys here in a second and um, it was a good fight definitely so it's not a drum it's not a giant speckled trout or anything but I want to give you guys more basically selection you know and more different kind of videos so that video was on ramp 43 again caught a really big shark and um a few sharks actually but i that was the biggest one i'm gonna share it with you guys all right let's watch it together oh, there you go there you go guys there you go there you go take it there you go there you go there you go yeah coming this time dude you're coming i'm getting you this time I'm getting you this time, you're going nowhere. It's a big fish. Big fish. We are getting you. You are coming. You're going nowhere. Come here, dude. You are coming here. <laughs> that is a big fish, guys. Big fish. Oh, oh. Fighting. Big fish. It's going towards their line. Oh, no. Fighting good. Nice one. Finally, we got connected. And I'm happy with that connection. Finally. Thanks, God. Finally. Don't see him yet. That's a shark, guys. Nice size shark. Nice size shark. Just wait for that wave. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. There you go. Nice shark. <laughs> ah. All right, let's dehook him and let him loose. All right, hold on. I'm gonna grab you by the. All right, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, Dido. Ah, there you go. There you go. Whew. Cool stuff. Cool stuff.
That's a big shark, guys. <laughs> like to hold him upright, but I don't want to. <laughs> all right, dude. All right, all right. Go. Get out of here. <laughs> no, it's probably like three and a half for a food shark. I don't know what kind of shark that is, guys. Comment below. Let me know. You. Finally. Man, what a fight. <laughs> that fish gave me a really good fight. All right. On our list, the next. So um, I went to around jetties again and I fished the entire day. I was basically targeting sea mullet and uh, puffer fish and stuff, but I absolutely caught nothing. And there was on um, April, yeah, April, hold on, sorry, 18, yep. Yeah. So 12 days after that shark, April 18, 2023. So when I wanted, this is actually first time I fished on sound side, okay? And uh, I was still kind of like, I wasn't sure if there's gonna be any trout on the sound side or not. So, um, I just went out there basically to try, but I brought my GoPro stuff with me just in case. And good thing I did, because um, I didn't catch anything. I even didn't get a single bite on the ocean side around Lighthouse area in Buxton. So I went to Soundside and I was fishing from the bank, from the shore. And I was using the um, mirror lure, pink and chartreuse color. Man, I love that lure. And um, yeah, it was the last cast of thing because I did... Um, use a bunch of different lures and plastics and stuff. I caught absolutely nothing. But the second I cat, I uh, put that mirror lure, chartreuse and green. I think they call it, what was that? Mm, Mardi Gras? Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, Mardi Gras colors. That might be what. Um, but yeah, you guys will see on the video anyways. So yeah, the second I put that on there, I cast it out there a few times. And man, bam, that really good trout comes and smashes it i was so happy to catch such a big trout and um yeah that's the video up next guys let's take a look at it all together switch to something else Why not? What the hell? Just give it a try. Alright, if we don't get any bites on this collar too guys, I'll actually think, I'll start to think that there is no fish. Cause there is, I don't see any other reason for this fish not biting. Water is not that cold. There's a lot of bait around. Good action. Everything's per oh. Is that a fish? Is that a fish? <laughs> sure it is. <laughs> I almost can swear that I saw a shrimp jump. That's a fish guys, that is a fish, and that is a good fish, holy cow, blue fish, I don't know, it doesn't act like a blue fish, that's a good fish guys, but should I give him some drag, that is a big fish guys, holy cow, what are you, come here, that's a big fish guys, what is this? Whatever it is guys. No way. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me now? Are you kidding me now? You are absolutely kidding me. You are kidding me. Check this out. Goodness, God gracious. Are you kidding me? No way! 
it doesn't have any eggs or no nothing too which is which is great amazing so if i want to i can keep it basically dude that is a monster of a trout lure out of its mouth no way check this out are you kidding me all right so this is the profile guys that we got that trout on I, I've been you saw me guys I tried so many things and I even didn't get a single bite but then I switched that thing and I cast it around second or third bite check this trout are you kidding me this is my hand guys this is my hand holy cow this is like at least 25 26 inch trout i don't have my tape on me such a pity how crazy is that all right guys i'm gonna keep him i guess because he doesn't have any eggs i guess i'm gonna keep him all right well that was a windy day guys but hey it worth it i basically was out the entire day and i was happy to catch that really good trout all right so next video on our list is gonna be um uh should i <laughs> i'm gonna go with that first it was on june 5 2023 so i was fishing on a private access on back behind my house and um i was using pinfish as bait and um i caught two really nice trout the first one was a little early um in the day early times in the day like probably around like 6 p.m or something during the summer summer time and the last one i was about to close finish the video then i got this small tiny nibble on it i thought it was a pinfish you know just uh picking at our rod on our rod bed then um, I decided to just like grab the rod and you know see if there is fish on it. Man, the second I set the hook, <laughs> it was heavy. It was heavy, and probably was uh, you know the 27 inch speckled trout. They were both kind of same size. The first one was 26 inches, and the second was 27 inches. Man, what a video! All right, really good day fishing, guys. Two really two really nice giant speckled trout. Let's watch it together. And there was on. June 5, 2023. Let's take a look at it all together. Oh, holy cow! What is that? Oh God! What is that? Holy goodness! What is that, guys? Goodness! What is that? Wow! <laughs> Same old guys! Holy cow! The drag is tight all the way and he's still pulling drag! Goodness! Wow! <laughs> there you go! Caught pinfish guys! Caught pinfish! Be a giant drum please! Be a giant drum! Man! He's running! interesting swimming towards me right now swimming towards me that could be the biggest drum i ever caught guys or a nice size uh speckled trout but we'll see guys that could be a nice size drum is it a speckled trout i think that's a giant speckled trout guys is it I think it's a giant speckled trout. Is it? Hold on. <laughs> oh man! It caught me! <laughs> Snap my line! But yes guys, that's a giant, giant trout. That hook is right on the corner of the mouth. Holy cow! Let me be quick. Let's dehook him guys and we'll show you very quick. Then we'll let him, we'll let him go. Get the hook out of there man that hook was right on the corner of the mouth and he did bend our hook a little bit we're still recording right awesome man look at that caught the line okay let me show you guys and they won't let him go come here dude i'll let you go i promise 
I promise I'll let you go. Let me wet this hand, guys. I'm not keeping fish. Oh yeah, guys. 25 inch speckled trout. Giant mouth and beautiful fish. Holy cow, check him out. Man, I waited a really long time for this fish and he, we got him on that piece of uh, pinfish I showed you guys. Man, let's let him go. Come baby boy. It's not croaking. Oh wow, it's ready. It's not croaking, it's, I think it's a male. But yeah. Here you go. Man. <laughs> wow. They are gorgeous. Man, it's like a ghost swimming in the water right now. I see only that black shadow. That's what it is. Man, awesome. <laughs> wow. Oh, something. What is this? Oh, something is eating this guy. Something is on there. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. There you go. Oh God, we got him. I was finishing the video. No way. No way. That's something big. It's not aware that it's hooked. But yeah, guys, that's something good. Hope it's not a stingray, because I'm not feeling too many head shakes. Don't be a stingray, please. Oh man, I was trying to finish the video, then we got that bite. Please don't be a stingray. Oh, there's some head shakes. Don't be a, don't be a stingray, please. Don't be a stingray. Okay, swimming in, swimming in. Do we lose him? Oh no, it's on. It's on. What is that? No. No way. That's not a giant trout, guys. Holy cow. That's even bigger than the first one. No way. All right. A giant speckled trout, guys. It's gill hooked. It's bleeding like crazy. I wasn't planning to keep any fish. But that guy is gill hooked. Let me measure him very quick. Such a big fish. It's a really good one. Something att attacked it. The tail is gone. 26 guys. 26 inch speckled trout. And unfortunately it is gill hooked. Giant. He's a giant. There you go guys, that's way bigger than the first one. Let's see if we are recording yet. It's a little dark, I'm sorry about that. But I want you guys to see that trout. That's a giant speckled trout right there. Really, really big, probably like close to seven pounds. It's not croaking, that's good. So that means it's a male. So I'm not gonna feel bad at least, you know. It doesn't have that st massive stomach too. So that means it's, you know, even if it's a female, it definitely did get rid of the eggs. It did shed the eggs. And check that tail, guys. Seems like something attacked him and ate the tip of the tail. Wow. Okay, guys, it's bleeding really bad. I don't think that it's gonna make it, so I might have to hold on to it. I'll still try to let it go, and we'll see how it's how it does. And if it if it kicks strong, I might let it go. But if not. I think I'm, I have to hold on to it. Alright guys, I don't think that he's going to be able to make it. I'm really sad because he's a beautiful, beautiful trout. Alright, man, that two trout, they were good. They were really good fighters and really big ones as well. And there was the last one, man. I do remember um, that was on my kayak. So same spot, guys, private access back behind my house. And um, I launched my kayak. I went out there, fished the entire day. And um, yeah, I didn't do that good that day, you know, a bunch of small fish and a stingray. Yeah. And um, yeah, I decided to move in close because it was kind of getting late. 
and I cast it out there. I think it was piece of mullet, if I don't misremember. I put on the hook and I cast it out there. And um, since I caught like a couple of sea, um, stingrays prior to that drum, and I uh, thought it might be another stingray anyway. So um, yeah, I started reeling in. Man, that fish, fight. it fought so good. Probably I fought with that fish um, maybe close to 30 minutes on the kayak and he wasn't giving up. And eventually I decided to paddle in close on the shore and just, you know, uh, pull my kayak on the shore and basically, you know, fight to that fish on the land because it was a really good fighting fish. And um, 40 inch red drum, the biggest drum I ever caught on the kayak. And that was a really, really, really good fight. And um, yeah, I mean, um, it was fighting so hard that it almost hit my kayak three times. Man, <laughs> all right. That was the last video, guys. Let's watch it all together. Uh oh. Oh god, holy cow, what was that? Holy cow, what was that? Be on there, dude. Be on there. Be on there. Be on there. Got a good hit right here, guys. You're still on there? Might be swimming with it. I think we got something here, guys. I think we got something here. Yep, got, got, got him, got him, got him, got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, man. GoPro turned off, unfortunately. Battery died. But we got a fish, guys. Come here. Don't know what it is. But yeah. Hope it's not another stingray. Come on. Don't be a stinger. Please don't be a stingray. Be a drum. That might be a drum. Moving fast. Is that what it is? Come on, please. Come on. Is that a drum? I don't know what that is, guys. That's a that is something good. Better have the net ready. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That is something good, guys. That is something good. Who? What is that? Oh god! Good sake! Holy cow, what is that? Oh god, it's gonna tip it. Kayak! It's under the kayak, no! Oh no! Oh god! What is this? Something big, guys! Holy cow! Good sake! What is that, guys? I can't stop him! You know what? Holy cow! Guys, man, what to do? What to do? Oh God! Holy! Get the anchor. I have to get the anchor and get him, bring him to the shore, guys, because that's a giant fish. Don't know what it is, but that is a big fish. Holy cow! All right, I'm gonna bring, try to bring him to the shore, guys. That's a big fish. Good sake. It's gonna tip the kayak. I'm gonna get in the water right here. Oh, God. Cannot believe that. That night ended just amazingly perfect. No way. Okay, all right. Whew. Good God! Turn this around, guys. There it is, guys. Okay. No way! Look at the fish! Look at this fish! Okay. Where's my fish grappler? No way! I had to bring him to the shore, guys. There you go. 
Hookie's out. Let's get him, guys. <laughs> no way! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me now? Check this out, guys. <laughs> oh, man. That is a giant. That is a giant right there. No way. I cannot believe okay. that. Hey, it's a beautiful fish. Holy cow. This is definitely the biggest one I ever caught, guys. Check him out. That is a giant red right there. How cool is that? Giant. Take a picture right there. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. That's like 40 inches. 40 inch red drum. Okay, take a boy. Come on. Come on. Ready? Just let me know when you're ready. 40 inch red drum. Couldn't ask for a better night, guys. Couldn't ask for a better ending night. I cannot believe that. 40 inch red drum. That was absolutely amazing. Right, man. Hey, <laughs> memories, man. Such a good videos. And uh, yeah, but 20, 2022 and 2023 were the years that we're still kind of like getting used to fishing and learning even more. But hey, it's we're only getting more experience and we're only learning more and growing all together as time is passing by. And um, this year is going to be only better. So thank you so much for being part of this YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being part of the community. Born to Fish Outer Banks and Fishing the Outer Banks. This is our um, page on Facebook. If you haven't joined to Fishing the Outer Banks on Facebook as well, just go ahead. I uh, um, share more content and more information, you know, just like daily information um, on Facebook page. So go ahead and be, you know, um, just join to our Facebook uh, Facebook uh, page as well. So uh, Facebook group. And uh, yeah, thank you so much, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you. And uh, thank you so much for, you know, supporting me and supporting the channel and being part of Fishing the Outer Banks and Born to Fish Outer Banks. I really am grateful to have, I'm really grateful to have you guys here. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. And uh, I hope, I hope this year, 2024, is only going to be a better year for us. So happy new year guys i know that's kind of like a happy you know a um new year you know message a little late but yeah hey <laughs> hope your, your line will always stay tight and hope you catch all the fish in your bucket list in 2024 thanks for watching guys we'll see you guys out there in water cheers